Mann, Nick. <lacht> Mm. What is good, YouTube? It's Raiders underscore 1995, and I'm a little bit more pumped than I am, and I usually am in my videos, because, uh, yeah, y'all know the news, Maurice Jones Drew, longtime native of Oakland, went to high school in Oakland, mm. was a Love he 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 grew up love loving this team. That's what I should have said. He he grew up watching the Raiders. Raiders were his favorite team. Goes to UCLA, right around his roots, and you know he's drafted by the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Stays there a couple years. I still remember that game in 2010 where Maurice Jones Drew whooped our ass. I remember that, and Rashad Jennings. Both of them dudes was whooping our ass. Y'all remember the 2010 game? It was at Jacksonville Stadium. I don't know what the name of the stadium is, but it was in Jacksonville. Y'all remember that? I was pissed after that game. But anyway, I'm bringing up old shit. But yeah, I remember dude whooped our ass. And now he's back home. He's back with us. Even though that he didn't uh, 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 play with us, what I mean, he's back home is... He's back to loving the Raiders, and now he's a part of the Raider Nation. Woo! This may be an early prediction. Maybe early. But I think Darren McFadden and Maurice Jones-Drew will be better, will be a better tandem than Darren McFadden and Michael Bush. And I love Michael Bush, but I think he could, he could elevate it and make it better. I'm fucking excited. Anyways, so Raider Nation, y'all already know, Maurice Jones Drew is coming back to Oakland. This is going to be a short video. I know I go 10 minutes long. And plus, I'm going to do a little rant in a couple minutes. So if y'all don't want to hear that, please tune out. <laughs> All right. I know I rant a lot, but you know, I'm going to talk about that. But yeah, me, solid fucking pickup. We need that power back type dude because Darren McFadden with the speed. And we have Corey Sheets, Michael Bennett, and uh, Latavius Murray, which I wouldn't sleep on him. Heard good things about Latavius Murray. So I'm still hoping he could get into the mix as well. And, you know, have different uh, running backs out there every down. Kind of like a, a New Orleans Saints thing. But I'm pumped as fuck. We finally got that dude. We finally got it. Look look at look at every look at everywhere on the position. We got veterans at the offensive line, veterans at running back now, veteran at quarterback, veteran at receiver. Some we didn't have last year. The only thing we don't have veteran leadership is at tight ends. But I don't think we need one right now. I think Rivera and Osbury are gonna kill it. Alright. Defensive line. We got the experience. Linebackers with Nick Roach and Kevin Brunette got the experience, got the young uh, uh, C.O. Moore, who's a monster and is going to continue to be a monster. And the secondary, you got Terrell Brown to help out DJ Hayden after a rough start. So he's looking at him like, listen, I'm going to teach you the ropes and we'll see how to do this. think we should pick up one more corner, Carlos Rogers. But, you know, I wouldn't be mad if we didn't. And I wouldn't be mad if we just drafted one since Phillip Adams is with the Seahawks. Good luck to you over there. Uh, safety, Charles motherfucking Woodson and Tyvon Branch. Let, this is, this may be early. Raider Nation, comment below. Do you think I'm getting my, ahead of myself or whatever? But fuck it. When we were getting all these players, I was like, you know what? We might be eight and eight, nine and seven. You know, and uh, we'll, we'll probably make the playoffs or not. Now that I've seen all the talent we got, like I said, it might be early. I might be getting ahead of myself. Tell me what y'all think, though. I think this could be fucking playoffs next year. I'm dead fucking serious. I think this is the year for the playoffs. We got all this great talent, and guess what? The draft has not even started yet. It hasn't even started. And I'm pumped as fuck for that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We are putting in work this offseason. This is by far the best offseason I've seen as a fan. 
remind y'all, I've been a fan since 2003, so there has not been a lot for me to see. So as of right now, it looks fucking solid. We got veterans at almost every position. We're going to kill it in 2014. We're going to shock people in 2014. I guarantee it. And I don't want to hear that crap about, oh, we have the toughest schedule next year. Do you guys know who has the second toughest schedule? The Denver Broncos. Do you know the Kansas City Chiefs and the Chargers? We all play the same people. They're going to play the NFC West. We're, they're gonna, and they're going to play the uh, AFC, uh, AFC East. Yeah, we play the AFC East. They're playing the exact same people. So, me, yes, our schedule is tough, but it's like the Broncos got to play these same dudes, the Chargers got to play these same dudes, and the Chiefs got to play these same dudes. So, Kansas City will be tested, the Chargers will be tested, the Broncos, you know damn well we're going to be fucking tested. But, like I said, let me know what y'all think in the comments if I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But I, I usually don't come out and say stuff like that, but fuck it. I'll, I'll say it. Playoffs. 9-7 and seven minimum, I'm hoping. Come on, this could be the year, y'all. This could be the year. I'm fucking excited. Now for the little rant. It, like I said, if you don't want to hear me rant, click the video off right now. Because I'm about to go in. Okay, so... Alright. I know I said fuck NFL Network. I know you motherfuckers are like, oh my god, this nigga gonna talk about NFL Network again. No, okay. Listen. I only, when I said I'm not going to watch NFL Network anymore, what I really meant to say, and I should have said in the video, I'm not going to watch it in my free time. Like, if there was nothing on TV, I'd just go on NFL Network, and that's what was getting me pissed off every time I went on there. You know, they talk shit about the Raiders or whatever. But then I was like, I want to see what their reaction is, you know, to us making the move. Uh, you know, these free agent moves. And, of course, like I told you, when we first signed Lamar Woodley and Justin Tuck, did we get a big segment? No, they just had breaking news on the bottom, did not talk about it at all. And then they just started talking about Eric Decker, which his ass is going to be whack in New, New York with Geno Smith. But, anyways, not going to talk about that. So, I'm watching NFL AM today. I, was, I couldn't go to sleep. It was like 7, 6 o'clock, whatever. And I'm like, why can't I go to sleep? So I'm watching the TV over here, which y'all probably can hear it in the background, but the TV's up there. I'm watching NFL AM. And I was like, I want to see what they think about Maurice Jones Drew. It's official. I didn't believe it when everybody in the uh, all all the fans commented below saying the NFL hates us. And I know they have they've hated Al Davis for a long time. And they've hated the Raiders just period. But now I actually really fucking believe it. I'm over here watching it. They're like, uh, because I remember one dude was like, uh, the Raiders pick up Maurice Jones Drew. And they actually were starting to talk about us. I was like, finally, we actually get talked about when we're with our free agent signings. We bring in, uh, it show all the people we brought in. Justin Tuck, Lamar Whitley, you know, Matt Schaub. Austin Howard. It showed everybody we brought in, right? And one person on there just real... I don't know what his name is. It was some old white dude. Had the nerve to say the Raiders don't have an identity now. And he was like, they got too much veterans on the team. And this... How, how are they going to... You know, how are they going to have an identity? And I'm like, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? This is what... You, NFL Network talked shit on us day one when we didn't pick up people. Those first two days and that Roger Saffold, they were just laughing at us. Now they're saying we don't have a fucking identity? Whatever. What the fuck ever. We don't have an identity. But you'll talk shit about us when we got nobody. Then when we got somebody, some dude said we got too many veterans. I don't think y'all noticed. But last year, we I think we're like the the not the youngest team in NFL, but the average person on our team was 25 years old. You need somebody. You need an older dude to teach these dudes how to play. We've had young quarterbacks. Bring in Matt Schaub, a veteran. We've had young running backs. Bring in Maurice Jones-Drew. 
We've had young receivers for years. Bring in James Jones for that veteran experience. The defensive line was fucking young. We just lost Lamar Houston. So we pick up Justin Tuck and Lamar Woodley? Oh, they don't know what their identity is. Are you fucking kidding me? The secondary was young. Except for Charles Woodson. But everybody around there was young. Then you bring in another veteran. Terrell Brown to help out DJ Hayden? And you're telling me we don't have an identity. Okay. All right. Y'all just make up. Now now it's now it's telling me y'all just making up any bullshit excuse just to hate on us. Wow. All right, NFL Network. Okay. When we start winning, y'all start kissing our asses. I guarantee you. Once we start winning, y'all start kissing our asses. Like I said, if this is a team, the Patriots, the uh, Broncos, they be kissing the ass all day long. This is a great pickup. This is a great move by this team. Uh, what about the uh, the the Broncos? Nobody's talking about. Oh, they don't have an identity. People are saying they sh- they're gonna have the number one offense and number one defense next year. Whatever. Anyways, man, I'm about to get off this. This is 11 minutes. I didn't even want it to be 11 minutes. I want it to be like five, six minutes. So I apologize for that. I really do. All right, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Raiders underscore 1995. If y'all don't know, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links will be down in the description box. Tell me what y'all think about Maurice Jones, Drew. Do you think this is a good pickup for us? Do you think it's a bad pickup? What do you think we should get next? Who do you think we're going to get a draft? Whatever it is, comment below and let me know. All right, peace out, Raider Nation. I'm out, and I'll see y'all in the next video.